And we now turn our attention to the findings of the audit of Jamaica's public health system, a lack of proper procedures to ensure sterility in areas such as operating theaters, major health facilities in disrepair, and unsanitary conditions are some of the findings from the health audit. After weeks of pressure to release the audit amidst an outbreak of bacterial infections among newborn babies in two major hospitals, which has killed 19 babies, the health Health Ministry finally cave in on Friday and save for the good news that the reports are out there's nothing good in them from a structural standpoint point the audit found that operating theaters in Jamaica's public health facilities are old and the layout of areas such as the operating rooms Sleuths rooms and recovery rooms are not ideal, but being ideal is only a small part of the problem. These areas leave plenty room for rearing bacteria. The audit found that sterile supplies at the Bustamante Hospital for Children in particular have to be transported through the dirty rooms to get the to the clean operating area compromising sterility. It says there is no restricted area for access to the operating suites. This in addition to theater doors being unable to be completely closed compromises the sanitation of the operating suites. This is coupled with the doors to what should have been one of the most sterile places in the hospitals having holes, rusted hinges and being infested with termites. The lights in the theater rooms are dull and some fixtures have no bulbs at all. According to the health audit, theater suites need to be assessed by engineers to check their structural integrity. Another area of weakness in the Jamaican healthcare system identified in the audit is cleaning and sterilization. This, it says, is too individualized. According to the audit, the level of cleanliness at the hospital is questionable as the requirements for mixing the required concentrations are not documented. There is no standardization of the types of solutions or agents for cleaning, sterilization and hand washing. The janitorial staff are not provided with utility gloves as required and the buckets and mops provided by contractors are inadequate in both quality and quantity. Additionally, the audit notes that the standard operating procedures for cleaning and portering was not seen in any of the institutions. It notes that there is a disconnect between the hospitals and the National Public Health Laboratory on receiving and processing bacterial swabbing of the clinical units.